Welcome back to How To. After a much appreciated comment on one of my chainmail videos, I realized that while showing how to make the chainmail pattern, I have not yet elaborated on how to make an actual chainmail suit. So this will be the first of two parts describing how to make a chainmail suit. Now the first thing you want to know when making your own suit is which way to have the pattern going. And what I mean by that is by which way the rings here are facing. In order to have an authentic suit, you want to have the pattern facing, you want to have the rings going left to right. So if your head was here and your legs are here, you want the pattern to go across the body. Now the reason the armor was made this way was when the armor is draped across the body, these rings tend to overlap each other. When the rings overlap each other, it helps to it makes the armor more effective. So let's say a sword struck the armor. With the rings overlapping, it'll maximize the amount of rings that take the impact of the sword, therefore dissipating the energy into the suit. Now, if you lay your pattern the wrong way, up and down the body, instead of having your uh, rings overlap like this, they'll stretch apart. And it'll leave these large gaps. This makes the armor less effective. So if you want an authentic look to your suit, be sure to have the pattern going horizontally across the body. Now, in order to start out, what you'll need is four pieces of chain. One similar to this, one like this, one like that, and one like this. Now you'll attach these four pieces together, there, here, here, and here. So what you'll be left with is a piece that'll look like this. This hole here would be for your head, this would be for your left shoulder, your right shoulder, your chest, and your back. So, if you were to take this and to lay it over the body, it would lay on the body like this. Here would be the one shoulder piece, here would be the piece with the chest, the other shoulder piece, and the hole for the head. Now the next thing you'll want to do is you want to extend the pattern down this way. So if we look at this model again, we'll be extending our pattern on the chest and on the back down. Now you'll want to extend the front part down to about the nipple line and you'll want to add the equal amount onto the back plus a little extra. The reason for this is when you lay this over your body it doesn't lay down the middle like so. It'll actually lay off to the, it'll actually, uh, the suit will slide forward like this so that the back of your neck will be resting on the back of the chain. This is just because of the orientation of your body. So you want to make sure you add a few rows, extra rows onto the back.